welcome everybody to the um, December 2nd, 2021 Town Board meeting. Um, we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance and a moment of silence. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Public input. Anybody have anything they want to talk about? Anything. I just wanted to uh, congratulate all those who were involved in planning the tree lighting ceremony this past Saturday. Um, it was a very well attended and beautiful event. They did a fantastic job. Everybody had a great time. The kids were super excited to see Santa rolling on the fire truck. So congratulations to all who and the event and work with them. Thank you for doing it. Anybody else? Okay. Administrative business. I need a motion and a second to accept the town board minutes of uh, November 18, 2021. Thank you. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Well, you know, oh, then I got to vote yes. Okay. Uh, acceptance of the minutes for the special meeting on 11 29, 2021. I'll make that motion. Thank you. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Approval of APSAC 23. Desiree, please. Abstract 23 contains vouchers 21-1801 through 21-1864 and totals $444,425.96. All right, thank you. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. And a second? Second. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Okay. Um, budget mods. This time of year, there's usually a book. <coughs> I'm ready. Well, I'm taking the mask off to breathe. I, I saw that, so we, we know that it's, it's, it's this Okay, first is for the police fund by increasing B9060.801 <coughs> HRA MVP by $5,175 and decreasing B9060.800 health insurance by $5,175. These are all for the 2021 budget. The next is for the buildings and grounds by increasing A1620.453 diesel gas by $1,500 and decreasing A1620.421 John Heber pool maintenance repairs by $1,500. For the supervisor's office, increasing A1220.100 personnel services by $7,800, A1220.101 compensated absences by $1,035, A1220.200 equipment by $175, a1220.411, office supplies by $85, A599 appropriate fund balance by $9,095. For the library, increasing L7410.402 electricity by $2,000 and decreasing L7410.403 oil and gas by $2,000. For animal control, increasing A3510.431 vet fees, medications by $1,500, A3510.469 food supplies by $1,000, A2706 animal control donations by $2,050. And decreasing A3510.444 school and dues by $450. For various funds, increasing A9060.801 HRA MVP by $56,709. SR9060.801 HRA MVP by $6,637. SR 9060.800 dental insurance by $302. SR 599 appropriate fund balance by $6,939. L 9060.801 HRA MVP by $2,200. And decreasing A 9060.800 health 
health insurance by $54,050, A90 50.800 unemployment insurance by $2,659, L90 60.800 health insurance by $2,200. With Parks Department increasing L7110.200 equipment by $24,000 and decreasing A16.419 or reservoir dam repair by $15,000, A7110.430 day camp expenditures by $9,000. And there are two for the upcoming 2022 budget. For records management, by increasing A1460.200 in records management equipment by $14,780, A1460.200 records management contractual by $19,040, A3060 records management grants by $33,822, and for the John P. Burke Pool Capital Projects, increasing HJB 9710.603 and HJB serial bonds principal by $275,000, HJB 9710.703, HJB pool serial bonds interest by $50,416.75, and HJB 599 appropriate fund balance by $325,468.75. Okay, thank you. I would just like to uh, note, uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, Desiree uh, for receiving this grant for the records management. It's over a two-year period that we're actually getting paid. Um, and so we're moving all the money from, uh, we received a check, I think. Is that half correct? We received yeah. half of it now. Yes. Half and we'll get the rest next. And we have to pay it in full next year. And so what we're going to do is um, move everything over to next year's um, monies and, and to the uh, budget. And uh, I felt it was only appropriate because um, three people on this board worked on last year's budget, and so they should be the people that are approving the movement. Um, and the same thing goes with uh, payments that we have next year towards the John P. Burke uh, uh, bonds. Uh, that's being moved over as well. Um, and I felt that it was appropriate to be done by uh, the board members that did the budget. So with that, uh, I need a motion and a second to accept our um, booklet on modifications. I'll make that motion. I'll Thank second. You. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, we were going to um, have a uh, active town clerk to advertise for a public hearing on December 16th. Um, to rescind local law number three, the tax cap override. I've been in touch with the um, state controller's office and spoke to their legal department. And apparently, um, since they've never told anybody that I know of, um, you don't need to rescind the 2% tax anymore because there is no benefit to doing it. And what I mean by that is, it used to be where if you stayed under the 2% um, for two years in a row, and the next year your taxes went up, you, the, the taxpayers received a refund on the difference. Uh, they, they eliminated that back in 2019, and so therefore uh, it's no longer applicable. Uh, we still need to do the 2% uh, override because the whole purpose behind that is to uh, make sure you don't go over the 2% because that's still in effect. You still cannot go over the 2% um, without receiving any penalties if you don't, you know, pass that override law. But uh, because there is no benefit anymore to rescinding it, um, there is no need, and I see no need to uh, spend money and have Desiree go through the trouble of putting in a, uh, an ad for the public hearing when there's no need for the public hearing. So uh, I'm taking that off the agenda. Uh, the next thing is the... Um, uh, I need a motion and a second to approve the Woodbury Courthouse sign. It will basically state the top line, town of Woodbury, and right under it, it'll be um, Justice Edward uh, Kalman uh, Court. So uh, you all received that estimate. Um, does anybody have anything? Yeah, that's going to be like lettering? Yes. Does Individual not, lettering. Not a board? No. It'll be individual lettering okay. that they're going to put up. He's going to put it up. Uh, the gentleman uh, that you sent me to? Uh, yes. Um, Maria? George? Yeah. 
Yeah. So he's, he's putting it up. It's a lifetime warranty. Um, okay. And that's doing Good. I think it's made out of some kind of a hard plastic. Yeah. Um, so they're individual letters, sort of like what we have up here. Yeah. So, um, any motion and a second? I'll make that motion. No, I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Uh, we need to make a motion and a second to accept the resignation of Lisa Colhane as part-time ADCO effective on November 21st, 2021. Make a motion. All second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Accept the resignation of Dominic Brazillo <coughs> as part-time dispatcher effective on December 31st, 2021. I would simply like to say that uh, Dominic's been here for a pretty long time. Uh, he's been a uh, very reliable uh, person, personnel for us at the, at the police department. And uh, we want to wish him all the best of luck and, and wherever he's going. So I need a motion and a second. Make a motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. And to uh, last uh, week, we, I think it was last week, I, I, I lost track of time. But anyway, uh, to appoint Thomas Heffron as part-time dispatcher, his start date will be December 6, 2021, at the B hourly pay rate of $23.9817. And that was the gentleman we, we met here. Uh, yeah. Basically, we knew it. I got a motion and a second? Motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, thank you. Um, old business, the courthouse update. I don't know if anybody's driven by, I'm sure you have. Um, but you can see they've started, um, first of all, they finished the, the, the steps going up to the front, which is far better than what we used to have, and it actually is in, in today's day and age, the code. Um, and on the, on, the, on the side entrance, um, they've redone that entire um, walkout, you know, the handicap walkout. And I gotta tell you, if you get a chance to walk by and look at those railings, not that they're gold or, or anything like that, but they are super strong. They're nice and thick. Um, they're not going anywhere as compared to what we used to have. Even going up the front steps, um, I think they did a fantastic job with it. They're in the center too. So. Yeah, and there's yeah, one in the, the correct, yeah. one in the center as well. Um, they're working on the overhead that's at, at the front of the, of the uh, courthouse. They're putting in lighting. We're going to have special lighting on lightings on the side. I think it, I think he talked about putting up the two bulbs like they have at the police department. But it will say courthouse. Um, and if you notice, they're doing the uh, aluminum siding. Well, it's not aluminum siding. 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 Um, yeah, yeah, I, I just dated myself, Joey. Mm -hmm. uh, siding. And um, if you look at it, it is very close to what the original courthouse looked like when it was green and white. So I'm, I'm really very excited how it's coming out. They're going as high as the windows right now because they have to put the windows in first before they, they go up to them. Yeah. Uh, and there, and we think they'll be in either next week or early, definitely by the, the, the week after. And um, hopefully this will all get done. I don't know if it'll be done in, in December, but um, hopefully it will get done sooner than later. And I'd like to see the town board, uh, since I'm leaving, um, hold off on holding a dedication and maybe do something in the spring. And I will gladly come up, and I'm sure Senator Scoopers would love to have that you know, done. And, Nice weather, and it will be a really uh, a wonderful event. So I'm really looking forward to it. Um, board member comments? Anybody? Bob? Congratulations to uh, Don Pazor. Uh, he was uh, also a member of it. Uh, Highland Hills Fire Company for many, many years. And uh, I know back in like, 1992-ish, when I joined up there, he was there, so that shows you how long he's been there. And uh, he was a great volunteer. He, he took it seriously, and he was very faithful. And uh, you know, it's hard to find people like that these days. 
But anyway, best of luck to him, and uh, I'm also enjoying all the utility pole lighting that really brightens things up this time of year. The uh, village highway department and the unification came together and really uh, did a nice job. And I think it's going to be expanded next year, but I'll let them talk about that. Thanks. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Uh, Jackie? I just want to join Bob in um, saying uh, farewell to Lisa and Dominic and thank you for their service as well as congratulations to Thomas Hepburn on his appointment. And um, we look forward to the Winter Wonderland uh, by the Beautification Committee in the Parks Department. Okay. Tyler. Yeah, I just want to thank Dominic and Lisa for their service here. Dominic, long time. And uh, Maria, the lighting does look beautiful. 32. Get you in the holiday spirit. I like that they go all the way up now towards Brick and Doom. Finally, something on our end of the town. <laughs> it took me a couple of years. But it looks good. It's, it's very nice. It's very nice. Uh, Desiree? Joe? No comments. Okay. Joe? I have nothing right now. Okay. Maria? It's out there. It's out there. Um, thank you everyone for noticing the beautiful lights. Um, as Bob said, we're going to be, we just had a meeting tonight, we're going to be working on that for next year for Central Valley. I just have to be aware of the different, where the poles are, because there's a lot of talk about different construction that down, down, down in town. So, And there's some poles that were damaged by accidents, so I have to get the electricity back up there. It's it's a costly event to just to get the electricity on each pole and then to purchase the additional um, fixtures. So that's on our horizon for the beautification. And um, as Jackie said that this Saturday, the fourth of December from four to six. Four to six, we're gonna have the the winter wonderland up at the reservoir and the gentleman mm -hmm. from the high um, not the highway this time. Buildings and grounds. I want to do a special shout out to um, Phil and DJ and the rest of the gentlemen and Joey for carrying and lifting those heavy pieces that we installed them for us up there. And on this December 11th will be the Parks Department holiday party. Five to eight was that, or five to six, or five to seven? There's, it's posted on Facebook. Everyone can look at the dates. Well, no, I'm saying it's five to seven. Five to seven. So that's that's something else that we're looking forward to with uh, with everyone. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you to everyone that's doing everything for the holidays. And um, if you drive by right now, you'll see the lights over the dam. We finally got the electricity in for that, so that's done. And the, the garage up there, the reservoir has all the snowflakes on the building. So we're trying to make it look a little spectacular up there, and it will be done by this weekend. Thank you, Maria. You're welcome. Anything from the police department, Mr. Finn? No, sir. Officer Finn? Not today, sir. You got it. Okay. Um, I'd like to start by noting that the Board of Elections has finally uh, finalized uh, the results. Uh, I want to congratulate Lori Tittel for uh, getting reelected as our um, county legislature. I want to uh, congratulate Supervisor elect Mr. Tom Burke, um, Councilman elect uh, Timmy Finn. Finn again? It's finished, right? Shall we? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And uh, Councilwoman Katie Luciani. Um, congratulations to the three. I want to wish you all a lot of luck, and um, I hope that uh, you continue with the success that uh, we have had over the last uh, four years. Uh, you did say that Saturday there is the tree lighting. Do you have any idea when the lights you, you can attend? Because at 4 o'clock it's still kind of light out. 5 o'clock. Yes. Okay. Five so it is from 4 to 6, uh, but if you're it's cold or whatever and you just want to see the lights go on, uh, be there a little before 5 o'clock. Uh, other than that, I don't have much to say. Um, I'll have more to say next week, next meeting, which will be my last meeting. Um, and I will say something about uh, my fellow board members who are leaving and uh, 
you know, everything else. So with that, I like a wait. So there was something that nah, I remember what I wanted to say. I've been over at the uh, pool, and it is coming along very well. But I can tell you now, I, I think I said it at the last meeting, I'm going to say it again, and I'll say it at the next meeting. It's a good time to come in and get your park passes. Because I'm going to tell you now, once people see that slide going in, there's going to be a line, and it's going to be a very long line, and it's going to go out into that parking lot that's out there, and it's going to be hot. So be smart. Listen to Frankie for once. Come on out and get your tickets. And, and be prepared. Okay? Mm -hmm. With that, I make a motion to close the town board meeting. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Have a great holiday, great weekend, and please be safe. Up.